You've likely heard that computer hackers gained access to the Minneapolis public school system. They stole private data in a cyber attack that the district called an encryption event. The hacker group then posted some of that information on the dark web. So what is the dark web? Good question. Here's Heather Brown's conversation with a cybersecurity expert. So could I just go to Google and say, take me to the dark web? No. Ty Hollins is the chief information security officer for ProCircular, a cybersecurity company. You would have to download um, the Tor. What is a Tor? So a Tor is really a, a, a browser that allows you to be anonymous. The technology behind the dark web was created by the U.S. Navy in an effort to anonymize the government's activity and usage of the Internet. It's legal, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone could you know, download that. The, um, the browser that's required. Anyone mm -hmm. could go download that and go on the, the dark web. However, the material that you're purchasing isn't legal. Holland says there are three parts to the web. The surface web, which is your google.com, wcco.com, sites that are searchable. The deep web, which is stuff you can't search. Sites you need to log in to. So if you were gonna pay your credit card bill. Pay credit card bills, a lot of the corporate websites, mm -hmm. looking at your kids' grades. And the dark web, which no one knows for sure, but is believed to be bigger than the surface web. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we call it the internet's evil twin. The dark web, again, is, in my view, is primarily for illicit material, okay. right? Mm -hmm. If you wanna uh, do bad things, really. Yeah. So these are credit cards that were uh, stolen that you can purchase. This is you can hire someone to hack or destroy someone's life. Drugs, uh, stolen identities. Yeah, these are the um, baby cheetahs. I mean, this looks like Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> now, just to be clear, we're not on the dark web. We're right not now. on the dark. No, we are not on the dark web right now. This is uh, these are screenshots from the dark web. There are some really good legitimate purposes to using the dark web. For example, in countries that have a lot of censorship, the dark web allows people in those countries, like uh, news reporters, to be able to report out and share information. But Holland says, for the vast majority, it's not safe and extremely difficult to police. I highly recommend against folks going onto the dark web. Even just to search around? Heather Brown? I, I wouldn't recommend that. WCCO 4 News. Our expert says that even if you don't buy anything on the dark web, you might click on a link or download something that could hurt you or your computer. And he says all of this is a really good reminder for people to change their passwords and use a multi-factor authentication. If you have a good question for Heather, email her through WCCO.com links.